Hello beautiful earth angels, multi-dimensional beings, star seeds here incarnated into this 3D plane. Welcome back or hello if you're new to another reading and channeled message for you. Today's channel message um, started channeling this and it really felt like it was just like a normal timeless type of reading which it still is a timeless reading but as it gets more into it it like synchronistically really intertwined to be in divine time for this period of time that we're in now because it really was correlated to the moon energies and the solar eclipses i'm pretty sure it was the solar eclipse we're in eclipse season was it last night or today <clears throat> Either way, this is like really synchronistic that this message came through for today's reading. And I think there's also another eclipse on April the 8th. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch this, um, the points or the energies coming up, regardless of what is occurring, is going to be relevant for some reason or other. But we're going to start with the start of the channeled message. And then we're going to move into more of the energies that that's coming up for about with the eclipse type of energies, things like that. But there is a lot of, oh, there's a lot of exciting things going on. There's a lot of timeline shifts, uh, you know, multiverse shifts. Um, we've shifted, it's still Lauren here, you guys, but um, we're definitely in a new type of vibrational plane or reality. And you guys are really making a lot of shifts as well into different multiverse uh, vibrational timelines as well. So, this, uh, you guys, started with the kind of energy with spirit bringing up how you guys were a part of unexplained or misunderstood ancient happenings, events and occurrences where knowledge or understanding was not continued in the 3D. You guys, this started off as like bringing through past life type of energy um, that kind of opened this gateway to walk into the rest of the message. But so the first gateway about this past life energy was that you guys were really incarnated um, many, many, many lifetimes, like we spoke about before. But the one specifically coming through this energy prevalent was that how you were incarnated in past lives in ancient times where events and occurrences were taking place that are not understood now in today's age, right? You were a part of civilizations or a society or a culture or a, or a um, event that happened that is misunderstood to this day in a sense that we do not know everything that happened. We do not know the reasoning. There's a lot of mystery around this, right? And there was actually a specific event coming through. But again, this can branch into other events and time periods as well. Um, but it was just the main energy that, yeah, you guys, uh, you were incarnated when these really significant time periods were taking place. And that you hold this information within the remembrance of your past lives or um and how that's either been activated or is about to be reactivated by what we're about to speak upon and go into so the one that was coming up to start this reading i kept hearing clairaudiently terracotta warriors or the terracotta army and this was really intriguing right this was also linking to another type of energy I'd been getting through a couple weeks back that was yet to clarify and clear up about a subterranean network, right? I kept get, uh, getting through this energy of a subterranean network um, and this kind of temple energy or this stone kind of carved structures or these stone tunnels. You guys could have been there before in your dreams or in the astral space you guys definitely were involved in something of this kind in a past life, like whether it was the building of a subterranean network, working and going into subterranean networks, uh, which means under the ground, you know, um, inside the kind of mountains, inside the, under the earth and inside these really beautiful structures. So what was specifically coming up was the terracotta warriors or the army. 
um, if you don't know what that is, um, maybe it would be cool to do a little research, might reawaken your cord connection if that is for you, uh, by looking at this place and tuning into the energy in that period of time. But it was all these warriors built out of, um, you know, they were built as statues to protect and guard. I think it was this king or that emperor. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong, I'm not all of that knowledgeable about this, but there's a specifically the tomb that he's in has never even been walked into or entered. There's a lot of mystery around this and all they've really uncovered is the, uh, all the warriors that were created to guard the emperor during the afterlife. So some of you were a part of the construction or a configuration of building this tomb on this temple. A lot of you have past lives where you were in other time periods. A part of this really sacred process, it was very sacred and important to them about tombs, okay? Carrying spirits over to the afterlife, like this was much more understood in the times where you were incarnated and you played a big role in maybe, um, funerals ceremonies right because i'm getting like vikings come through now where they set fire to the boats i'm getting egyptians come through you know where they are it's like all of these rituals all of these traditional ways of how we treat the body and how we uh, bury them where we keep them like you guys were really a part of this whatever time period this was i'm getting through asian uh, type of continental countries in Asia, um, like Japan or China. I'm getting through India as well, actually. I'm also getting through the Egyptian time period. I'm getting through the Vikings or the Celtics, and I'm getting through, um, yeah, the Mayan as well. The Mayan, the Mayan. Sorry if I said that wrong. So you guys were in probably multiple incarnations, really closely connected to this energy of like pa the passing over or the ritual um, special work that comes with, you know, protecting bodies through to the afterlife. Um, so you in this life could be drawn to, you guys already, you guys would relate to the reading that uh, key of Ank reading that Anubis has gifted you the key of Ank, the key of life, because you guys, there's something that connects you to doing work in the 3D. Uh, when it comes to people, you know, passing through to the realms or you being able to connect past the veils to the realms um, and how you kind of are the connector from the afterlife, the, the, the quantum realm, you know, above the, the veils in those subtle frequencies of energies in the astral realm through the layers of dimension. There's something about you being like this connector from the two, uh, from this world to that world and how you've done a lot of work involved in this type of energy of the rituals and things like that, like ceremonies, okay, ceremonies, you're very ceremonial in many of your incarnations and you know like we've we've kind of touched on before but this can also be like yeah the making of tombs the decorating of tombs the making of coffins the making of the hieroglyphics on the walls the making of certain things and maybe this is something a few of you have actually been drawn to in this life as well is um something in the realm of services whether that be um, you know, helping people, bringing love, bringing some love and lightness to the ceremonial service type of energies, using your creative abilities, using your connection to Beyond the Veils to help people um, as they're ascending or transcending to the next dimension. Um, there's something really about that. So yeah, you were connected in many past lives to this very sacred ritualistic type of energy because this actually is making more sense now because what we're about to go on to and how it links to these eclipses was that I was getting through like sundials and I was getting through like these uh, ancient places where it's kind of like where the sun is at a specific point like when it's a solar eclipse or like when it's a full moon it's like the light of that aligns with certain stone circles or the, the line of it aligns with certain gateways. I was seeing like a gateway of stone be activated because of the alignment of 
it when it was in like an eclipse or something it's like the light of that opened a gateway and it was used to connect to higher dimensional beings ets angels guides um so this ceremony practice again you know this ceremony when it's the spring equinox or the summer solstice or anything like that all of these ceremonial points seem to be being emphasized within the energy and channeling of this message so again you in many lifetimes have been a part of ceremonial sacred services okay um whether that be rituals whether that be because of certain times are celebrated due to certain planetary alignments star alignments um or whether that be the passing over of souls you guys have really been involved in a lot of ceremonial work in that way um you kind of are the gateway in this sense in the ceremony work to amplify the energy as well because of your your frequency is very sacred and special in a sense that we spoke about this in a sense that you have become very high vibrational from the expansion of your conscious awareness and that changed the waveforms of your aura of your frequency and um yeah there's something about your frequency activating these places to a deeper level when it's time for ceremonial work so again you guys in past lives would have been shamans you would have been maybe in positions of um um like sacredness in a sense of working in holy places uh being spiritual advisors for certain emperors certain kings and queens you know it's it's very interesting to look at your strand of consciousness and all that you are kind of involved in in those type of energies so yeah right um let's see because i got ahead of myself again you know we always write this down but i got ahead of myself so let's get into it so it's not too long okay so these now mysteries you were involved with at the time of their occurrence um the these mysteries are something that you've either re-remembered or you're you have this dormant energy of information inside of you that holds keys of information that is not available to us in the 3d plane so to speak but it's available to you because not only can you access the Akashic records, but you also were incarnated in these times. And what, who knows best than someone who was incarnated in that time, especially when you're reactivating and retapping into those past life memories, if, either in dreams or in the astral space. Uh, this could be something that's going to heighten for you guys, especially due to this heightened energy that the eclipses and these full moons are bringing. So yeah there was also something significant about sundials reading the sky the stars calendars that was coming through strong how you were involved with calendars or like the making of certain calendars um or or the recording of certain stars uh, the making of certain sundials like you guys were very intelligent in past lives in this way of being able to track the stars or decode or read them uh, like in like cryptic messages you were very um intelligent in a sense of maths uh, sacred geometry um philosophy and physics yeah physics so you were involved in a lot of making of calendars the evolution of calendars and places built for harnessing eclipse energy that activated ceremonial gateways or portals so like i said i was seeing this stone gateway or doorway or circle that comes into activation upon specific times and there was this big energy of holes within holes so if i did this but then like when i look through this there's another thing like this it's like holes within holes like gateways within gateways it's like almost as if there was a door frame, then a door frame, then a door frame, then a door frame, but they get like smaller each time, right? It's like a gateway of light or something. It's really interesting and I'm not really sure, um, not really sure what that is. I haven't seen anything like that, but interesting. So you've experienced and hold deep information activated or dormant like we said about these less understood occurrences time periods at ceremonies um, things like that and also you hold that stored skills and informational um 
energy inside of you too like we were saying everything you've built up to do with your intelligence reading the stars the sky the calendars um you know things like this you carry all of this over so these gateways or portals could have connected you to certain dimensional planes or et beings they could have also been something that people stood in to change their frequency and then in turn that changed um the kind of layer of dimension they're in what beings they're able to connect to almost like an amplifier like they use this space to amplify their energy in some type of way or your energy um some of you you could also do ceremonies or intention setting or things like this when it comes to uh maybe the moon cycles moon phases planetary alignment or the solstices the equinoxes or the eclipses as well um you're still harnessing the energy of those things it's really interesting so there was a message about coordinates and how frequencies of vibrations correlate to being the coordinates of certain dimensional planes and beings just like working with certain frequencies uh frequencies of crystals colors words symbols sounds chants or music open and create a frequency that activates a gateway to connecting with beings or dimensional planes and information that is correlated to that frequency. So there's certain frequencies of crystal, uh, certain crystals that hold a specific vibration that is the same vibrational frequency as the fey realms or the fey dimensions or the fairy plane, right? So it's like these, these frequency is the key, frequency is the coordinates to going to the certain places of dimensional plane in the astral and there was something uh, significant about how this eclipse is making certain frequencies to connect to certain energies but also these gateways from the past did as well. So there is something significant about the full moon and I'm pretty sure it was the full moon last night and I realised literally yesterday it was the full moon last night and the moon looked beautiful. I don't know if anyone else saw it, it was bright yellow where I am and it was also full moon in Virgo. Woo, 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 woo. Virgos, I am a Virgo sun, Aquarius moon, Taurus rising in case anyone wondered but um, yeah Virgo was specifically strong and there was something strong about these full moon energies at the minute um, especially being heightened mixing in with this eclipse type of energy so again timeless reading whenever you watch this we're going to get into some points of what this energy is bringing you how it's affecting you and affecting you uh, quantumly energetically um, everything like that so let's carry on and get into it uh, regardless of the time that you watch this so there is yeah something significant about these eclipses this full moon energy or just this ability of yours to be able to harness and naturally harness this energy uh, and frequency that, th that these placements occur because they're amplifiers right real big amplifiers so these eclipses or solar energy is creating a big activation within you vibrationally, charging you up. Your frequency naturally harnesses this energy, shifting your frequency um, into certain charged up states of vibration that is going to allow you to open certain gateways to shift into timelines of frequency that will quantum leap you, okay? Picture this, it's like a whatever vibrational timeline we're in right now is correlated to our frequency but imagine we just got amplified with so much energy we would jump all the way to a dimensional timeline that's actually quantum leaping like a big chunk like this energy that is being amplified within you right now amplifying your frequency um like we say we're gonna get into it, it's changing everything uh like everything's amplifying so like your sensitivities your um intuitive abilities, your spiritual gifts, dream work, vividity of reality, vividity of the astral, like channelings being strengthened because you're jumping up to certain other frequencies, you're able to connect with new dimensional beings or dimensional beings that you maybe uh, you haven't connected with for a while. Um, this is connecting to timelines of a very high vibration and this energy of amplification happening to you is very significant because it's opening a gateway to these higher planes of dimension. 
and you guys are unlocking them and this could very much be correlated into what you're going to carry through with you energetically into the rest of this year so this is actually very significant because you're amplifying your energy creating this very high vibrational plane of reality in a sense of entering those higher states of consciousness entering those higher dimensional planes of timeline for your 3d reality and it's creating a lot of change once you've accessed these uh, planes and these things. So it's really affecting manifestations, really affecting a lot because we know the higher the vibration, the more synchronized things get, the more your ma manifestations are going to materialize very synchronistically for you. And there is something very, very strong about that energy as well, how this period of time of amplification, there's going to be really interesting things happen like um, divinely timed, divinely guided occurrences that are so obviously divinely intervened with in a sense of the wheel card in tarot is highly amplified within this energy of this period of time of eclipse in a sense that the wheel of fortune is when the angels or your spirit guides or the these higher beings can co-create with you at their most strongest they make a lot of things happen that are maybe like wishes or um, there's a lot of like karmic energies that come about with this in a sense that the will is the will of fortune. It's the will of karma. And, you know, you guys are going to be getting back a lot of um, beautiful frequencies of energies and materializations from the karmic paths that you've been taken to because you guys have broken a lot of karmic cycles by karmic we just means emotional cycles you've broken a lot of repetitive cycles meaning that a lot of new cycles are going to be opening for you but it's also in the same way that's like cycles that are karmically still being repeated over and over again like they might be heightened as well in a sense that this wheel of fortune really goes both ways but for you guys i'm really getting this strong energy of like miracle type of energy or energy that is significantly synchronistic and just really beautiful in that way so let's see yeah it's allowing you to enter very powerful and interesting dimensional planes and in these planes, you're going to be getting new information, new thought loops of energy, new re-remembrances, heightened spiritual experiences, especially in dreams or the astral realm or in manifestation. You are going to be entering a new state of vibrational consciousness and that in turn affects how you perceive reality. This actually is linked almost to the last reading we did in that way channeling is going to be heightening and the veils at night time are going to be especially thin so this is giving you access to these things at a deeper level your spiritual gifts everything that we spoke about so at higher frequencies new beings can connect or meet with you and that might be what happens for a lot of you as well is that at these amplified higher frequencies you may be connecting with new spirit guides you may be connecting with new beings that you haven't connected with before or haven't connected with in such a clear way so lots of important energetic shifts are taking place for you during this time so there's a list that i've made of just extra added information that i was kind of picking up of what the eclipse is kind of bringing you or this heightened amplif amplification of energy is going to be bringing you so we'll get through that list. You might resonate with some or maybe some are for you, some are not, but this is just what was coming through. Some we may have already mentioned. So higher and clearer access to planes of frequencies and new gateways in the astral, inspired action or igniting to certain projects, business endeavors, creative sparks, right? This really inspired action type of energy or letting go letting go making changes it's like you always have more energy to put into something like you've just you've been amplified you have more energy you have more thinking energy you have more energy to put into things things like this right big timelines will be dissipating and energetically released as you tether to new found ones so imagine you've got all these cords you're like tethering to some new timelines and you're untethering to some old ones of frequencies that 
um, a kind of dissonant for you now. So whatever that be, it's like your mindset is shifting. It's like you're shifting your focus. You're letting go energetically of certain things. And that thought space of thinking is being replaced by a higher vibrational thing uh, in a sense of like this information or research or something that's really sparking or igniting you and taking up your frame. Um, right. So it's like the shifting of thought patterns. So we've got receiving big emotional downloads um, or information in the astral and also physical. Some of you could be receiving some important news within this amplified energies of manifestation. You may be receiving a letter, some news of some kind, something about you receiving. This could even be like receiving a blessing or receiving uh, a message from like a family member you haven't heard from for a while or something. There's something about you receiving a letter, receiving a letter from a company for legalities, something of that you're receiving, okay, and you're magnetizing towards you. We've got connecting you deeper to the unity, merging of all selves. In this amplified energy, it's almost as if you're merging into this higher self state where you are the embodiment um, of all versions of self, all past life selves, all selves within this life, all selves within future, like the embodiment of, of everything all at once, like you're merging into that unity of that and it's really connecting you very close to your star seed and celestial roots. Okay, so there could be something significant about your star seed roots, your celestial roots that's heightening or important right now at this time that you'll be connecting with. Um, deep remembrance of power because it's almost as if you know how like the moon and the sun line up this is like all versions of yourself line up and you become like this um, synchronized version of all of them feeling simultaneously all at the same time like and sometimes we can be a bit scattered from versions of self or timelines of self it's like the sun and the moon you guys you're aligning with all of these energetic bodies of previous selves and future selves and it's bringing a lot of uh, synchronization, harmony, unity and almost like an avatar state kind of thing like where his eyes glow. It's like very very powerful and igniting. So you will be emitting a very radiant electrifying aura frequency um, as well. So this is very bright, even to the unconscious eye, you are going to be looking very bright. There's something very powerful. You may notice people just turn around and stare at you or like whatever type of energy you get from them. Okay. This is like you're in a, in a room or you're in a place or you walk in a shopping center or something. It's just something about people being really caught to your energy. You know, when you zone out on something, can you just, it feels really good to stare at and you just like zone out on it and you don't have to blink. It's like you're in this daydream state, um, kind of dissociating. I feel this energy was coming through when it comes to like how your frequency is going to be making people is almost in a sense of trance state. It's like you're you know, this isn't in any type of ego or weird way. This is literally in a sense of frequencies. Your frequencies are heightening and this is going to affect you, but also how people perceive you as well. And yeah, it's kind of like this energy of just staring, zoning out or dissociating onto uh, people. You could find people staring at you extra strong recently or something like that. Um, nothing to be concerned about. So lots of the will energy, like we said, fated synchronistic materializations of experiences or situations, divinely intervened and intertwined situations. I was also getting 1010 10 come through and there was also a, another message about, um, oh, what was that? What was that? No, it's just flown off in the astral. It's flown off in the astral, so if it comes up, it will be important, and if not, it obviously wasn't. There's an awakening of dormant kundalini or life force energy. An energy surge from the base of your spine. There's this energy being activated specifically from the base of your spine, because sometimes I see like energy coming through your crown, energy being pulled up through the ground to you. This one, base of your spine, very significant. So harnessing this energy by directing it with focused action or practices, journaling, creativity, inspired action, okay, creating a big resurgence, push forward, uh, activating of willpower or energy. That's what it was. There's something significant about the 26th, 
you guys. So someone could have something or 26th could be an important date. I know the 26th is tomorrow, but there's just something maybe energetically important about the 26th or maybe physically important about the 26th. There could be something happening on the 26th that's really like divinely timed or something. So we have minds or thought. Yeah, thought loops connecting faster, rapid connections, clear functioning of inner monologue and the astral realm heightening. So that is all I have for you beautiful souls. I know this got a bit long. I'm going to end the reading message here. Happy eclipse season. Happy full moon for yesterday. Happy beautiful life whenever you watch this. I love you all with all my heart. You are shifting timelines yet again. We're exploring the multiverse and we're continuing on this path of ascension. So Thank you for all the work that you do. Thank you for all the work you have done and how exciting to be able to, you know, experience that re-remembrance with you of those really beautiful past lives. Um, you know, you guys are really sacred, special souls. I really hope you know that. And I cannot wait to speak to you all in the next reading. Um, and yeah, for now, that is all. Mm -hmm. Earth Angel, over and out.